Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allison, if you are new here, and today we are finally tackling a project I have been procrastinating for literally months. It's been on my YouTube video list because it needs to get done in my house and I want to film it for you guys, but I keep bumping it every single month that passes. I'm like, oh, next month next month. Like, no, it is time to tackle this closet situation. And please don't judge me, it's gotten a little bit bad. So in our master closet today, I am going to completely declutter this closet. Well, not really my husband's side, but declutter my side, organize and fold all these clothes that's just sitting in a pile right here. This hamper is full of clean clothes, so my dirty clothes pile is right next to it. There's stuff everywhere and the biggest problem i have well it doesn't look like that i have a lot of hangers right here but when everything that i own is like hung up and folded normally i do not have enough hangers right now instead of going to buy more hangers i kind of know it just means it's time to clear out this closet i'm gonna have a couple bags of clothes to donate or sell or something just get out of this space and finally tackle the chaos also we haven't been on top of our laundry game at all so both of our laundry hampers are full of clean laundry to fold. So I need to do that today too. And clean the space, reorganize it. It's just sloppy in there and it's really chaotic and I can't find my clothes. Probably because my most worn items are all laying right here and in here. So let's start with, I don't even know where to start. Where do we start with this space? Let's do this. husband's style of going through and decluttering clothes means picking a very random day, probably when a dresser drawer is just too full, pulling out a handful of random items and then throwing them to the bottom of the closet. So we already have a half full bag of donations just from that stuff and then some trash stuff like things that you don't want to donate like old socks and stuff. I'm not going to send those to Goodwill. The floor is already looking way better. I'm going to go through the two hampers that are, remember, full of clean clothes and put this stuff away, hang this up. That way the dirty clothes end up in the hampers and we can start decluttering the things hanging in the closet. I'm not terribly worried about decluttering anything inside of the hampers because it's like stuff we've recently worn and I'm more so thinking about getting rid of stuff we haven't touched in a while. So that's gonna be what's up here. Maybe I should declutter first then? No, no, I need to hang stuff up. Oh, and I have that pile in the corner. Okay, we're gonna be here for a while, I think. Not so surprisingly, there was actually 
tons and tons of dirty clothes. That's why we actually still have hangers left over because there's so many clothes that needed to be washed. So those are downstairs being washed right now. And I think it's time to start working through all of this. So much stuff. And down in here in these drawers too. So let's get working. So I always like to just completely empty out the closet. So this is my entire half of the closet, at least everything that hangs. And I've got just general piles like tank tops, t-shirts, long sleeves, sweaters, dresses, skirts, and pants. I think that's everything. And I'm just gonna go start from piles, start working through them. If I'm gonna get rid of it, it will go in the donate bin. And if I'm gonna keep it, I'll leave the hanger on it and then um, just keep it in the pile. I am hoping to have lots and lots and lots of hangers left over. Like I want, what's my goal? I wanna get rid of like 20 pieces, 20 hangers, maybe 15. 15 might be more realistic. So 15's the goal, 20's the stretch. Three hangers from the tank top pile. I could do more, like I really could. Like, in my mind, I wanna wear this to Disneyland, but I'm pretty sure that when we go to Disneyland, I'm not gonna reach for this. Do I need this? No, I've worn this once, I've had it for years. So four tank tops are gone now. We can definitely do 20. Next pile. Okay, today is definitely a good decluttering day. I'm not even through the long sleeve shirts and we already have all of these hangers. We're definitely hitting the goal of 20 and a lot of things coming out of this pile specifically are things that my last declutter, I told myself if I haven't worn them by the time I go through the next declutter, then it's time to get rid of them. So like maybe every six months or so, I do go through my closet and do this whole clean out process. And since the last closet clean out, I haven't worn them. So they are gone and I like feel good about it. Like, you know when you feel like you can just let go of anything in your closet? Closet and you don't feel bad about it or anything in your life really like there are times where decluttering is really hard for me and I don't want to give up any of my clothes and then there are days like today where I'm like live a better life outside of my closet okay just from the shirts alone 15 and I think we're gonna need another bag Okay, we are moving to the last pile, which is mostly sweaters and pullover sweaters, I believe. But pause right now, go down to the comments and let me know how many hangers do you think we're gonna end up with today? I really don't think I'm gonna be able to get rid of any of these because I love all of them. Yeah, no, these are, well, this one I don't wear. I just did rapid fire throughout those clothes. It took me no more than five minutes once I pulled them all out. I think it's a lot easier to look at all the clothes once they're laying on the bed. Sorry, I'm just holding the giant bags of donations we now have to get rid of. I'm not gonna lie though, those will probably sit in the trunk of my car for two months until my husband yells at me saying that I need to go to the Goodwill and drop those off. But it's time to put everything back in the closet and see how many hangers we have left.
feel that different in this space. Well, one, my laundry hamper is still downstairs with the laundry. That'll come up eventually. But to me, this feels like my clothes can like breathe. They used to be like so cramped on each other and like now they have room. Like it's not like clothes like that. You know what I mean? Like they're spaced out. I can actually see everything I have. Like, you know, when you have too many clothes and things get just like shoved in the back and you're like, oh, what is this dress that I haven't seen in six years? That's still what definitely was happening with my last closet clean out. And it had only been six months since I did the, my last one. Words. I am like jumbled today. I do not, I'm, bleh, bleh. <laughs> refresh. <laughs> I'm very jumbled today. My brain is jumbled. This is kind of all I was capable of getting done today. I am gonna go edit this video though. But before I go, here is everything leaving. These are actually just our bath towels. I'm gonna go do some laundry with that. And these are a pair of jeans that don't fit Christian that need to be returned. Bucky's old blanket, some trash. We also have two bags of donations. And guys, I called it exactly 20 hangers. I'm actually gonna put all of these back right now. Can I do this one-handed? I don't think I'll have this many once I actually hang up the rest of my laundry, but it feels good to know that I probably now have enough hangers. Oh my gosh, I messed this up so bad. Okay. That's a lot better. But now I have enough hangers that when I, my laundry is done in like an hour or so, I can actually hang it up. I was planning on going through this little drawer, but honestly, it's pretty pared down. I mean, it's a little bit stuffed. If anything, I've got like needs for bigger storage in here, but I think it'll be fine. I kind of don't feel like making any more decisions today. And that's kind of all decluttering is, making decisions, like holding an item up and deciding yes or no, and doing that over and over and over, kind of gets a little bit exhausting. Let me know down in the comments if you can relate to me on that. And also let me know if you guessed right on the hangers. I am very proud of myself. I knew I needed to film this video, but I honestly wasn't sure I'd get rid of as many items as I did. But I'm so glad it's clean in here now. There's not like the suitcase up there that got pulled out of here. The floors are now clean, not the random pile of old socks Christian was trying to get rid of. And thankfully, we finally have all of our laundry, or at least the clean stuff, folded and put away. I should do some laundry for Christian soon. But overall, I'm very pleased with this short little project. It just goes to show that you don't need to spend hours and hours and hours to make a huge change. Setting up a solid system, like I have in here is a great place to start and then it's easy to maintain. Like this whole process took maybe an hour and a half and that's only because I was filming a ton of it. And of course, we can't have any decluttering videos without Bucky coming in to hang out. Did you get rid of anything today, Bucky? No, nothing. You didn't declutter any of your toys. Maybe that could be a whole dog video. Decluttering my dog's toys. I'm just kidding. You can keep all your toys, at least the ones you don't tear apart. But that'll be a wrap for me and Bucky today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it motivating, and I hope you are decluttering your closet soon too, because you probably need to. I know that I definitely needed to today. But I will see you all next time. Bye!